Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Melvin Taylor, to coming at you. Today, I want to give you guys a little Friday motivation um, using not one, but two. <laughs> one, two. I'm the off that. But anyways, I want to use two old school songs. Two. Um, Stephanie Mills, I've Learned to Respect the Power of Love, and Anita Baker, Caught Up in the Rapture of Love. And this is what I say. When you're with babe or you find a person that, you know, you're with and this is your ride or die, make sure that you find somebody who loves you for you. Somebody who loves you for the person you are. Somebody who you feel like you don't have to put on a facade for. Somebody who will be loyal to you. Somebody who will have your back through thick and thin, through the good times and the bad times. But also find somebody who, like Anita Baker said, caught up in rational love. Find somebody who's caught up in you so much that their love can, it's, it's almost like a safety net to you because you know this person got your back. You know, Anita Baker said, caught up in the rapture of love. I'm caught up in the rapture of love. Nothing else can compare what I feel when I'm with you. When you're with somebody and it's that love that you can't hardly see anything, it's that love that you know you would do anything for, that you would just lay your life down for, that's being caught up in the rapture of love because that love is something that together you two can build, build things. You can move mountains. You can build empires. You become bosses and become CEOs together because two is so much better than just one. Okay? And also Stephanie Mill said, and I've learned to respect the power of love. You have to realize this. Um, when you find that person that is babe, learn to respect babe. Learn to be able to say, this is this is the person I'm with. It's some things you have to realize when you're single, you can't do when you're in a relationship. You know, when you're single, you have so much more leeway, so much more freedom. But when you're in a relationship, there's certain things you have to do in order to keep your relationship. Because if you don't, guess what's going to happen? You're going to lose that relationship and you're going to be back single again. And the thing about it is you have to realize is that also you have to learn that some things when you're in a relationship, some things need to stay between you and babe. I don't care how good a friend your friend is. I don't care how best he is. Some things need to stay between you and babe. Cause let me tell you something. Sometimes you might, not all the time, but you might have that bestie to where you tell bestie business. Bestie might try to use that use that information to get you to leave babe. And then bestie, bestie, your BFF will be the next thing you know, look up, they with your babe. So you have to watch that because sometimes your best friend will not have your interest in. You have to understand, you have to know the difference between a day one and somebody who is pretending to be a day one. But just learn to just keep, you know, something between you and babe. So just remember, find somebody who loves you for you. Find somebody who you're just so wrapped up into them that you would just lay your life down. You would just be their lifeline for them and learn to respect the power, power of love. Learn to respect your man. Learn to respect your boo. Don't become, you, it's not about being submissive. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm not going to be submissive. It's not about that. But just learn to respect things about the other because that's not even relationships. That's just with everybody. You should just learn to be respectful. So I hope this has been a um, good Friday motivation for somebody. You guys have an awesome and beautiful day.